Hey, what's going on? This is Muriel from the Sunshine Family, providing you today nine reasons why you should move to Costa Rica. I'm standing in this amazing location in Montezuma. As you can see, there's beautiful ocean view. And wh what am I doing here? Well, I just had a workout uh, in that place that you see behind me. It's a huge yoga deck and I saw some shade here. I thought, you know, I'm gonna inspire you today because this is a typical day uh, where I feel uh, so grateful being able to live here. And that started with a decided, uh, let's move to Costa Rica. So I hope that I can inspire you today giving nine huge reasons. Um, before I'm gonna dive right in, this is an open invite. If you're new to this channel, there is this little link that you see uh, or little icon on the screen. You can tap it, then you can choose to click the bell icon and then you receive a notification every time I go live or when I upload a new video. Let me stand like this so you can see my eyes better. Um, yeah, and I'm excited to provide uh, more information, a um, couple of videos uh, per week to serve those in search for information about Costa Rica. And I'm not the expert, okay? So don't pin me on everything. I just share what I have learned myself since I moved to Costa Rica in 2018. I transformed my life from being a social worker uh, and <laughs> Dirk used to be a restaurant owner. We totally transformed uh, our lives. We, we brought our laptops, we're online entrepreneurs, educators, authors, and basically we teach others how to build their businesses online. And I'm excited to inspire you about that as well. Uh, if you are curious how that may look like and if you resonate with that, just go ahead and discover the description below my videos where there's a world of information about other things that I do. Uh, but here I am in beautiful Costa Rica. What I love about Costa Rica, and that is actually reason number one why you should consider to move to Costa Rica, is that Costa Rica has just uh, a beautiful um, wildlife, beautiful nature. Nature is everywhere. And also it's a super, there are a lot of varieties. So if you are more like a beach person, there are so many beaches. Are you more like a hiking mountain person? person you ha we have mountains you, you love like a volcanoes do you love a colder climate it's there do you love the heat and dry climate um you know it's there uh rainforest climate it's there so there is so much for everyone there's city life there's village life um beach life mountain life so i think there is a location to find for all type of people so consider to explore and take a, uh, do, a, do a vacation and explore. That's how I lost my, la my heart to Costa Rica. So yeah, um, beautiful nature and variety. A uh, second reason why I totally, totally love Costa Rica and for you to consider to move to Costa Rica is that the, the culture is super laid back. Uh, we call it the Pura Vida culture. Now, what is the Pura Vida culture? You can say a lot about it, but it means overall super tranquilo. There's no stress. You can test a um, park double on the very busy road. And the chances are super, super low that someone will just uh, scream at you or be aggressive pulling you out of your car, which I did see happen a lot in the United States and in Europe where I come from, the stress level in traffic is so huge. And here, overall, the people are super relaxed. Uh, it's a warm climate. Uh, people move slower, um, but people are loving. Uh, people are loving and kind overall, and it slows you down. It slows you down to stand still and look around. And uh, one of the things, and that brings me to reason number three, is that there is so much wildlife. So this is what I dreamed about when I used to live in the Netherlands. I wanted to show my kids monkeys in trees in the wild and not in the zoo. I was like, what am I teaching my kids? That we, that we lock up animals and that's the place where we can, can view them and admire them. Uh, no, I wanted to show them that they used to live in wildlife and that's still existing here in Costa Rica. So reason number three is that the wildlife is all around you right now. There's not one monkey to see, of course, but it's often that I'm surrounded by monkeys, howler monkeys and all kinds of beautiful colored birds. And 
you cannot you cannot imagine how many beautiful um, animals are living here um, still in the wild and you can admire them there's uh, sloths there is snakes there is beautiful and that inspires me also um, what is possible here and that brings me to number four is that um, as a family so I started to search for a location in the world to live with my family and with my children there is a lot of choice for international and private schools bilingual schools local schools but you can also f follow online schools here because the internet is super good quality in most locations so as a mother i found a lot of options here for my children which excited me and the the cool thing about the most international private schools is that when you have kids in different ages they will be in the same school because those uh, ages and schools go more or less from 3 until 18 and uh, um, I like that and this is how we started to build up our lives and the kids went to school and they blended in the Costa Rica culture that way and that was really awesome so that's one of the other reasons why you can consider to come and move to Costa Rica um, reason number five is that Costa Rica is quite easy with applying residency and why is residency uh, in your advantage well then you do not have to be a perpetual tourist that means uh, you can only apply for a 90-day visa as a tourist uh, that you get automatically that stamp uh, but then you have to leave every 90 days to go to another country re-enter again get your stamps and then it will be extended with another 90 days i know people they live this way for 20 years uh, but there's pros and cons and costa rica is just super easy with a with um, a, a giving residency to those who apply uh, for example there is a rentista a residency option for people who can show that they have um 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 that that they have their pension and that they that will come in to their bank account for the for the rest of their lives and costa rica will obviously uh, big chances approve your residency because you can show that you bring money into the country uh, another way of getting residency is an investor's um, residency which i applied for myself if you buy property or if you put a specific amount in the bank which is right now i think sixty thousand dollars and to buy property i think don't pin me on the exact amount around two hundred thousand dollars if you buy property for that amount you can apply for um for an investor's um residency my most favorite type of residency is because i am a, a digital nomad slash uh, online marketer myself i'm an educator i am an online coach i do basically everything online to make my living that's why i'm able to live here uh, i already applied for my residency but uh, digital nomads can easily apply if you can show uh, over the previous year that you made at least three thousand dollars per month um, from uh, income coming from outside of costa rica uh, then you can apply for um digital nomad visa and that brings you a lot of advantages including an adjusted um, residency proof driver's license so you can drive here with your existing driver's license anyways it's just super residency proof and they're open to accept um, expats from all over the world which is also why costa rica is doing great because people who come in the country be to live here outsiders like myself we bring uh, money to spend into this economy here and that feels really really great i must be honest to support the uh, the costa rica economy so yeah consider if that is an option for you as well uh, then the next reason is that it is a super super friendly for tourists and for residents to buy things here so i have traveled in a lot of countries before i moved to costa rica and before i started my family and i've been to a lot of countries that seemed perfect such as thailand my heart was really in thailand and i i always i wanted to to live abroad but i've I heard a lot of drama stories about how hard it is as a foreigner to buy property a house or a vehicle whatsoever so yeah that was not on my list of um favorite countries to move to when i when i saw myself um able to do it thanks to my laptop business so but in costa rica we found out that tourists and residents 
can buy vehicles, houses, property, and it's super, super easy and super, super uh, done by a lot of people. So that is an advantage. So it's a great country to invest in. And I think in, in today's economy or any economy, that's a benefit. So you should grab that with both hands if you're already considering it. Move to Costa Rica or at least come and check it out. The next reason is that the healthcare system is amazing. I have experienced that totally in different ways from a broken knees because my son fell with his bike, a big hole and stitches needed um, from the local doctor here until surgery. My daughter broke her collarbone. We had to go by ambulance, excellent service here, even from remote areas as the peninsula, Dunicoya to Clinica Biblica. I've never seen such great high quality personalized healthcare compared to the Netherlands. Now the Netherlands is well known for their good systems and healthcare, but um, here I felt really, really um, taken care of. Uh, for example, what was unthinkable in the Netherlands or in the United States, that if your child needs medical care and needs to stay in the hospital for surgery, which happened with us, it's unthinkable that they make a bet for one of the parents to stay. Here, they didn't ask me. They just made a second bed on the couch, which was also like a bed for me to stay with my child. Well, that is amazing. My insurance totally covers everything that Clinica Biblica offers. And But if you um, become a resident, you can apply for the universal health care given to its citizens and uh, residents. And then you can tap into that great medical uh, care system and, uh, and and that will benefit you. So you can go to the CIMA, which is like, um, um, like um, how do you say that? Um, hospital you can compare with Biblica, high quality, high quality. So uh, in any ways, um, healthcare is super important for me as a mom with a family and I think for every people, for every person, right? Um, finally, um, access to healthy food is a biggie for me. Uh, if I look at the culture where I come from, according to food, if you look at the culture where I come from in the Netherlands, it's like an urban lifestyle, running the rat race, people are very stressed, tra stuck in traffic. The life that I was living as a social worker in the Netherlands several years ago also reminded me of fast food, of buy ready to go meals because we're all so in a hurry. Like um, I had a garden, but the climate was not really good to grow everything I wanted. And here it is so natural to, now this is not my property, but there's fruits growing here. There's papaya tree right there and it is carrying papayas. I'm not sure if you can see it. We have fruits on our property. We eat from the ground and we drink from the water and we can fish from the ocean. And this is also what I love about Costa Rica. I feel so much healthier here. Uh, I will be 50 this year and I'm super proud of it. However, I stopped counting at 28. But really what is a truth is that since I live here, I feel younger and better and more energetic. And someone explained to me that there's just simply more nutrition in every piece of vegetable or fruit that you eat here. And if you adjust to the Costa Rica uh, lifestyle, um, and also I, w I live at a blue zone where people become the oldest in the world, uh, I started to focus on what do the locals eat. So I do dove into that uh, black and red beans are super healthy for you. And that's why uh, the Gajo Pinto, the national breakfast dish of Costa Rica, is helping people to, to become older, that it helps against terrible diseases to prevent it. So I'm also eating those local dishes that has been proven to be working and it's cheap and it's healthy. And with that, I add like to my food diet of my family as well uh, the fresh fruit that I that I have on my own property uh, I drink from my own well and I feel super super blessed with that and I think it can help you as well so with that I hope that I provided nine valuable reasons for you to consider to move to Costa Rica I am super excited that I want to leave and my channel was all about inspiring those who are looking into Costa Rica for specific reasons. Um, 
I also know that a lot of people are looking into coming long term or permanently to Costa Rica but they have like a retirement gap or they don't know where to find work. Well, I'm not saying that it's impossible to find a job or to start a brick and mortar business but I cannot stretch enough that especially in the time where the world is upside down and, and borders uh, were closed for a while, I've seen businesses uh, disappear because of it very devastating because a lot of them concerning my friends but having an online business being an online entrepreneur knowing what to do to make a living online there is so many ways to build a business online and to generate a family income if you're curious about how I do that what I teach what I do uh, if you want to start from scratch if you want to know how I learned then I, I really advise you to go ahead, click that very first link below uh, my video and learn more, M meet my mentor, you know, I learned from scratch. Yes, I'm making videos, I'm an educator now and I do a lot, I have multiple income streams, but I started from scratch, remember I used to be a social worker. Now I live in Costa Rica, I moved here, I hope that you decide to move here too and that we will be meeting one day. I will be meeting some friends that watch my videos and I invited them to celebrate my birthday party with me and um, some of them are my students as well. So, you know, this is not just what I make videos about, it's my lifestyle, it's my life, it is my stamping ground, um, it's my love. Costa Rica and I are in love with each other and I hope that I can transfer that energy to you so yeah uh, well I'm gonna make an end to my video now thank you so much for watching I'm gonna leave you with this epic view I'm standing in Montezuma if you wonder and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you one day in Costa Rica bye for now this was Muriel